Hi everyone, so today we're going to be taking a look at ChatGPT and trying to answer the question of whether it can replace programmers. Uh, so for the sake of this uh, video, I came up with an example of, uh, of an application uh, that allows a user to upload cat memes, and then this should be displayed uh, on the same website, basically. So I've, I've gone ahead and defined some of the endpoints that, that can be used uh, so that ChatGPT has an easier time figuring, figuring out what we wanted to do. Um, so let's go ahead and copy, copy this, and I'm gonna paste this into ChatGPT and see what it comes up with. Uh, while doing this, I should point out that I'm trying to keep uh, my, the human input to a minimum. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to solve as many things with ChatGPT only. Uh, so let's see how, yeah, let, let's see how this uh, works out. Okay, so it came up with an example using Flask. Um, I see that it did use the two endpoints that I provided it. Uh, it has the get method for, for the get, and then, uh, uh, sorry, it has a get method for the, for the root, for the home, uh, and then it has a post method for the upload. Uh, it takes a file and it uploads and saves it uh, to this path. So that is already something that a human would need to uh, to modify, right? Because we don't want the path to be a path to save. Um, let's see what else it says. Okay, optionally, you can perform additional processing on the uploaded file. Okay, fair enough. Uh, and then it uh, it gave me this uh, template, the, the index.html, uh, which uses the upload endpoint. And then, yeah, it posts it as a multi-part form data. Uh, and once it's uploaded, then it has another uh, header which says uploaded memes. And then for meme in meme, then it uh, includes includes it as a list item. That's uh, basically what it does. Uh, let's see how this is uh, how this is happening. Um, I don't see where the memes are being saved. So let's see. Return redirect, okay. So once you upload, yeah, it redirects you to the to the home page, which is index.html. Uh, but I yeah, I don't see where memes is coming from. This should be saved somewhere here. Hmm. Let's ask it if, if it can give us the full code. Uh, can, and by the full code, I mean so that it doesn't add all these comments expecting me to, to complete it, right? Uh, can you provide the full code? Let, let's see what happens. Okay, so yeah, still using Flask. But now we do have this variable, which is memes, always steer paths to save. And it's still using the template and memes equals memes. Yeah, so this is definitely different uh, than what we had before. Uh, and this looks to be almost the same. Yeah, remember to adjust the paths and customize the code as per your specific requirements. Okay, fair enough. At least this time uh, it did tell us what we have to do. Uh, so let's go ahead and copy this code. And I'm gonna jump into VS Code and I'll create a file called app.py. I'm gonna paste, paste this. And then we're going to get the other, uh, we're going to get the other um, file, which should be that the HTML template. So it says, uh, make sure to create a HTML template file called index.html in a templates folder. So let's do that. Uh, we'll create a directory. We'll call it templates. And then inside templates, we're going to create a file, which we will call index.html. And then we will paste, uh, we'll paste this code right here. Uh, let's now go ahead and modify uh, the, the paths uh, that, 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 that we have here. So it says path to save. So let's, okay, we did say we want to keep it to a minimum, right? So let's just, um, get rid of this 
and let's call it uploads. And then let's do the same here. And it's also called uploads. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and run it without looking too much into the code and let's just see what happens. Uh, it didn't give me any, any instructions as to how to run the code. So it didn't tell me to do Python uh, and then run this uh, app.py. So I'm not too happy about that. Um, let's see, L let's, let's ask ChatGPT. How can I start the web server? Or even better, give me instructions on how to run this code, please, because we're polite. Okay, so let's see what ChatGPT has to say. Uh, okay, so install Flask. Okay, that's good. Mm hmm. Okay, so, yeah, so it's telling me about the project structure. In this case, we're keeping it super simple. So I already have the, the I just have the templates and then the app.py, and that's it. Uh, well, and the uploads directory that I created. Uh, modify the code. Okay, it says replace path to saving the code with the actual path where you want to save the uploaded memes. Ensure that the specified directory exists and is writable. Okay. Uh, and then, it, yeah, it tells me how to write the. Uh, how to run the code, sorry. Okay. Um, all right, that's better. So let's uh, create a virtual environment. I hope that ChatGPT would have told me to do this, uh, but no problem, I can I can do that. And it would still work even without the virtual environment, so I, I can't really blame uh, ChatGPT too much. Uh, let's source it. And now let's install Flask. Okay, uh, now let's run the application. Okay, so it's running, it's running on localhost on port 5000. And let's see what happens. Uh, so no such file or directory uploads. So yeah, of course, I did not create uploads. I just talked about creating uploads. So I fixed that. That was a human error, not a ChatGPT error. And now let's see. Uh, okay, so upload cat memes here, and then we have the uploaded cat memes. Let's go ahead and upload um, our, our cat memes. So let's uh, take a look at this one, for example, or this one. Yes. So this is me right now with this video, trying to figure out what's happening. Uh, and for some reason, it's not working. Uh, let's see uh, what could be going on. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat a bit, and I'm going to inspect this and see where uh, where where the the image path is being loaded from. Okay, so this is displaying. Yeah, just the name of the file. It's not displaying the image itself. So if I go to index.html, yeah, you can see this here. That is just the, the name of the file. So hmm. Let, let's see if we can think of how to ask ChatGPT to display the image. Can you modify the code so that the image is displayed? And let's see what happens. Okay, so it says that it can modify the just the index HTML. So so that's good. Uh, so far, it looks like it's the same. Uh, yeah, and now we have the image tag. So I think this looks good. Um, the only problem is the app.py. Okay, yeah, it, it, it did it did know to modify this. So that's that's perfect. Okay, great. So let's just wait for it to finish and then we'll just replace everything and see how it goes. So let's copy this right here. Uh, let's uh, replace this with the updated version with the image tag. And now we can copy this, uh, which, 
yeah, which fixes that issue. And of course, I'll need to uh, regen uh, uh, recreate uh, my directory structure, or rather than recreate, just uh, uh, create yeah, create a new directory. Uh, you, you you know what I what I meant. Uh, let's delete this together with the image. Yeah, move to trash, and I want to create uh, static and then memes. So make dear p static memes. I, I could have just done this from the GUI as well, but since I have this nested directory, so I thought this would be a bit faster. <laughs> uh, so now let's run the application again. Uh, and see what happens. So yeah, my server is running. And now if I go to the cat memes, uh, it says no such file or directory. Okay, I should have um, saved it, probably. Uh, I think that's, that's what's happening. Let's let's try again. Yeah, perfect. So again, all of these are human errors, not chat GPT errors. Uh, so let's upload this hilarious cat memes 10. It's uploaded. Yay. And what do you know, we can see, <laughs> we can see the, the image displayed here. Uh, now let's browse again and let's upload cat meme 2. Uploaded. <laughs> nice. And uh, third time's the charm. Let's upload cat meme 3 and see how it goes. But I think once we figured out uh, what was wrong and we directed uh, ChatGPT as to what we actually wanted, it was able to come up with uh, with a proper solution. So that's pretty great. Uh, but I don't think right now uh, we are at the point where it can just do everything uh, right, exactly how we expect straight away. Uh, you could argue that I could improve my, my prompt skills uh, and I could have uh, been more explicit in what I wanted. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, uh, part. This is also part of being a programmer, right? Uh, being able to guess the requirement, or being able to work with minimum requirements from users, and then uh, guessing what they actually want when, with incomplete information. I would, I would say that this is also a very important part of of being a software engineer.